don't know if this is just my family, right? But I remember que niña me decían que like when you would try the food, like after the whole Dia de los Muertos celebration, like on the third and the fourth, you know, there's food that's left over, yeah. tamales and all of that. If you would eat it, que estaba más desabrido, because the souls would actually come and take the taste out of the food. And okay. so I remember that's a little like, superstition that. that we I used to have. That. I love <laughs> Mexican superstition. What's up, everybody, and welcome to a special edition of The Zoo. I'm here special. with Anna Karen Lopez. Humberto Guida. Thank you very much. And we're celebrating the Dia de los Muertos special. Yes, we are at the Hollywood Forever Cemetery here in Hollywood, Los Angeles. There's a lot of action happening behind us, so it's kind of like an on-location episode. And what exactly is happening today? This is like the launch event for the Dia de los Muertos celebration? Yes, exactly. So Hollywood Forever Cemetery, every year, except for the pan uh, during the pandemic years, uh, they create a massive celebration that weekend of before you know so if it falls on the weekend, great. If it doesn't, that weekend before, Dia de los Muertos. So November 1st is considered Dia de los Santos, and November 2nd is Dia de los Muertos. Oh, wow. So it's like a two-day celebration. Dia de los Santos is more for, like, the young souls. Right. Whereas Dia de los Muertos is for the older folks. Okay, but hold on. I always thought Dia de los Muertos was November 1st. No, it's a two-day celebration. Okay, so yes. technically you can you can say it starts both, but really the first day is Santos. It's Dia de the Santos second day and is Muertos. Dia de Muertos, exactly. Okay. And so I actually found out that Mexico isn't the only one. A lot of people might perceive it to just be a Mexican holiday, okay. but Ecuador celebrates Dia de los Difuntos, which is Dia de los Muertos, okay. and Guatemala celebrates Dia de los Santos on the same days that I just told you. Amazing. And then look at some of this. Do you mind? Can we show your costume here <laughs> on camera? Yeah. Wow, Love that looks it. amazing. The amount um, of detail that goes into these. Yeah, here's my mic. Explain to, explain to me your costume a little bit for the people. So my costume is like something culture for the Day of the Dead. So it's like, you know, respect for all the dead people that's here. And then right now in a few, in a few, uh, you know, uh, minutes, we're gonna do like a little dance. It's like respect for them, you know? Amazing. Yeah. Can you explain some of the features? Uh, well, it's just like a skull again. It's just uh, like details, you know? The, the skull doesn't have to be there. But again, it's just for the dead people to make them, you know, more happy or something like that. You actually have to earn your vestuario, right? You don't start off huh? with like uh, such an elaborate vestuario. Um, I mean, you can, for, for my group, you could just start with this. Okay. But for other groups, that's more like well, the Mayas or something like mm. that, because we're the, we're the Aztecs. Okay. For me, our group for like for, for other people, they can start off like like slow and just work up. Like, like it builds up, huh? Yeah, yeah definitely. Amazing. So this lineage goes back to the Aztecs. There's Mayan versions, other different uh, now now I don't want to go through all the Native American groups, but but yeah. they all have their own version. Yeah. Awesome. How much how much does this weigh? Not that heavy, actually. Um, actually. Like a bit, like a few pounds, but not that bad. Damn, okay, awesome. dancing so in like 20 then. pound suit. <laughs> I'm gonna catch your dance in, 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 in a little bit. Thank you. Thank you so much. Um, wow, that's awesome. So we got right right on the spot, we got we got a little bit of teaching. So what you, like you growing up, you, yes. you spent time in Mexico, right? Yes. Okay, well there and also here, like how was this holiday a part of your family tradition? Definitely, well every November or every like before, like before Halloween, right? My family would go and buy everything like the cempasuchil, which are the uh, marigolds actually, that's the name in English. These orange flowers here that to me I remember being young and you know you don't know why things are the way they are you just like react I remember I was like these are pungent you know I used to hate the smells of basuchi wow. but because it's that's actually on purpose it's meant to be pungent so that it leads the souls back to their houses so it has a purpose right um yeah we just decorate honestly all my tias it's not like it was a competition between the tias but it kind of is, you know, who puts on the bigger, better table with like the better food, you right. know what I mean? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, it's, I know it's not just Mexican culture, Mesoamerican, Central American and stuff like that, but there's something so beautiful about this because when people first see it, you know, they might see like the skulls and stuff and, and you know, there's the uh, imagery of death, right? Yeah, but definitely. but it's, it's life and death together and it's it's actually so positive and it's so sentimental. Mm -hmm. um, and it's one of these like, like, like uh, I don't know if it's a, you would call it a rites of passage, but like a, a true celebration, a spiritual mm -hmm. celebration that represents some of the best aspects of this culture.